You know, tells has chosen Kenya to be its first base in Africa uh, in its expansion strategy. Why Kenya? Why choose Kenya to be your first base? I think Kenya, if, if you look at the landscape of Kenya, economically, there really is a significant sort of amount of progress. And I think if you look at um, our target market, so in other words, businesses, and of course the leisure aspect, we see more and more multinational companies choosing not only to set up in Nairobi for an East African uh, regional office, but oftentimes now we're seeing that they're actually making Nairobi their home for the whole of Africa. So it made total sense for us from an ability to look after our corporate and business clients. At the same point in time, if you look at the economic uh, prosperity of, of Kenya currently, we see a lot more people coming into you know, more disposable income and they, they have the need and hunger to actually have more experiences and hotel accommodation and travel experiences are part of their, their newfound uh, um, disposable income. Mark, let's now talk a little bit more about the hotel with regards to the capacity that the hotel will have and also the investment that you're putting in place. It's in build, so we've got 280 rooms coming from this first one in Westlands, Nairobi. The overall arching concept here of what we're talking about for, for an East African rollout is you know, 10 to 15 hotels, which is fairly significant. And I think as we progress forward, that number may actually go up. But as it stands right now, we're really looking at an investment base, a total development cost of something in the region of about 150 million US dollars. So in East Africa, you want to have 15 hotels. Are there plans to venture further into Africa? East Africa is, is the starting point. We've already engaged with um, parties for West Africa. So there is, we have intentions of doing something in the region around 20 hotels, specifically in Nigeria itself. And every time you go into a market and you have a market entry, it allows you an opportunity to learn. You learn more about the countries, you learn more about um, how you can actually serve our guests better. And on that basis, what happens is you tend to have natural opportunities surrounding everywhere you are. So I think in West Africa, Nigeria first, and slowly but surely we'll, we'll have the experience and the know-how of being able to actually pop into other countries. And likewise, you know, within East Africa, as you actually come further south, we're looking at maybe you know, the Congo, Zambia, so on and so forth. Sounds like very ambitious plans. What are the timelines that you're working with? We like to move fast. Um, traditionally speaking, right now across the whole Tune Hotel platform, we average opening one, sometimes two hotels a month. So I think um, in terms of Africa itself, We've got to learn to walk before we can run. And I think the fact that we're already on the third floor of, of uh, the Westlands Nairobi Hotel, and that's coming along really well. Construction and development is, takes time. But as we get to understand it, we deal more with uh, local corporations who have the expertise. Um, it allows us to be braver and actually push um, and actually have more hotels up and running. So I would suggest that in the next five to six years, we would want to have these 10 or 15 in East Africa open. Let's talk a little bit more about Kenya, because in the recent past, Mark, we've seen uh, a lot of insecurity that has been linked to terror attacks. And we've also seen the tourism sector also getting hurt as a result, and we've even seen travel advisories that have been issued by some of the main markets uh, that serve Kenya. Is that a concern for you? I think you've got to take all that into account when you're making these kind of business decisions. But... You know, there is a fundamental belief that these things will eventually be sorted out. I think there is the, the overall overarching political will to um, sort of get this under control. But from a hotel and investment perspective, I still feel that you know, the region of East Africa, of course including Kenya, that is where there is opportunity. There is going to be more cross-border uh, intra-regional travel, um, there's going to be more youth who are actually coming into the workforce um, who have disposable income and are looking for new experiences. That is what we fundamentally believe in. And I think when you're making these decisions to invest considerable sums of money, you've got to take a fairly sort of long-term view. So does it increase the risk premium? I wouldn't say it increases it than er anywhere else. I mean, we have hotels in Thailand. And if you look at what has happened in Thailand recently, particularly in Bangkok, 
um, with the unrest. Um, but we're still doing more hotels in Bangkok and still doing more hotels in the rest of Thailand.